You might be running into an issue where for some reason you're getting this sign into iTunes store error. Now this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first thing I would recommend doing that actually Apple also recommends doing right here is to actually check the system status page of their website. So what you can do is you can click here or you can just go to like downdetector.com or is it down.com one of those things. And all you want to do is go and just make sure that the iCloud servers aren't actually down. A lot of the time, if you're getting that type of error, it could be because there's just some weird glitch going on on Apple servers. And if their servers are not working properly, they may temporarily pull them or stop people from accessing them. And this type of page will tell you some other pages will tell you too. You can even probably make your way to the comment section of this video. And if a lot of people are commenting at the same time, it probably means there's some weird Apple outage. Now, another thing Apple recommends you to do is to make sure your device is connected to the internet. So if your iPhone or iPad or iPod, whatever it is, is not properly connected to a Wi-Fi connection, that is going to be an issue. So just go ahead and make sure you're actually connected to Wi-Fi. Because again, if you're not, that is going to be the main issue here. That is going to be the way you're going to go ahead and access your specific you know, iCloud account. So make sure your internet connection is properly set up. Now, another thing they recommend doing, which is probably the thing that's going to, these two things in my opinion are going to probably fix it for you, is going through and updating your software, checking the date and time. So for one, let's go and check date and time. Let's go and go into our iPhone settings. Let's click on general. Let's click date and time right here. And all we want to do is go ahead. If you already have it set automatically, then just keep it automatically. But if you have it set to like some random time zone, you want to make sure this is properly to where you're at. Because if it's not, then it's not going to work out. If that doesn't work, hop out of here, click on the software update panel here, and just go ahead and see if you have an update available. Now, two things can happen. If you have an update available, update your phone, and that might end up fixing it for you. Or if that doesn't work, go ahead. If you're on the latest version of software, it could be that the latest software, if, you know, software update has some sort of bug with it. So even there, you're just going to have to kind of wait it out. So in terms of that, those are pretty much kind of the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I'll still love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.